Highs. Everyone, I'm Kevin Samuels, and I'm here to tell you, ladies, all you need to do to get yourself together and get your mans. Okay? Two snaps in a circle for that. Mm. See, us men's, see, what we don't want is a trifling woman who gon' be out there all ratchet. Now, let me ask you a question, women. How many times have you rubbed your man's feet? Have you did everything the man wants you to do for him? See, have you ever thought about the man is the head of the household? See, you keep trying to play the man's role. You got to let them men's be them and all this stuff and glory. That's how you're going to get a man's like me. I wouldn't be interested in all no woman's like you. <laughs> get in trouble tonight <laughs> oh did you not think I would not have anything to say and just let this nonsense keep going on as long as it has I spoke on it once before and I was driving in the car, and I remember my uncle said, well, that video you did was amazing. Where in the world? I mean, I, I can't believe it. That they actually have heterosexual women taking advice from a fruit cup about what heterosexual men want. They be like, hey, man, you can't say that. He never said he was a fruit cup. Do a fruit cup got to tell you it's a fruit cup for you to see it's a fruit cup? Yeah, I might get in trouble today. <laughs> but, hey, it must be said. Now, I don't care the fact that this man is a fruit cup. But let's go over what's happening here. Mr. Samuels is actually manipulating the people. He's a businessman. And what his business is? Capitalizing off of people and their pain. He's found a niche and he wants to go opposite because it caters to what he wants. This man could give a damn about women, period. Person has a dislike and a disdain for women because he ain't one. Now, these type of people know how to cater to your ego. And this is where people who are men, heterosexual men, should definitely not be listening to a person like that. And here's why. Then the reason why they do. Because He's catering to your ego. He's catering to something that you know in your heart is right. They're giving you that piece of information that's right, but they're going about it all wrong. And we focus on that because we are prisoners to, the, to our pain, meaning that we went through something horrible, horrible and have been betrayed by some woman or some person that we love or we went through some type of pain that that person put us through and someone else can come in and describe the same type of pain without knowing us and they focus on that pain and they're giving it to somebody else and we're like, yeah, get them because we're prisoners to the pain that we went through and we're riding with that because they feel like they're speaking for us. But they're just channeling in on your pain. This is how the church has made their money. This is how Brother Polite was able to come on in. They hit you with that, what you need to hear. Right? It's relatable. 
Of course he's saying all these things, but does he mean it though? Of course no. It's a business. He's not thinking about no woman and trying to help the woman get better. He wants to create a show where he just criticizes and put women down. He don't like women. Can tell. He don't like them. He's there to be condescending and put them down. This is his show, but y'all fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. And what is he doing? Raking in all the money. I ain't mad at you. Go ahead. You continuously get your money, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Go ahead and continuously take their money, take their time, keep milking it. Because they're stupid enough to keep coming on there, talking and having a conversation with you about how to improve themselves. Think about <laughs> married people, married couples are watching this guy, Fruit Cup, tell you what you need to do in your married life. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> if I'm married, I tell my wife, I'm like, babe, I can tell you a lot of things right now, but I can tell you one thing. That man <laughs> isn't married to a woman. And if he is, she ain't happy. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that right now. You got to stop being deceived. Stop it. You're making it too easy for guys like this to walk in the door. A guy like this would have never been able to pull nothing like this off in the 90s. Period. He would have never been able to, 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 no. They'd be like, bro, no. Nah. Uh-uh, not you. Metrosexual guy? Yeah, go that way. <laughs> Catch the metro. No. Nah. No way. See, that's the problem. Everybody wants to hear someone else tell them how to fix their problems when they know what the damn problem is. The problem is you not doing the work. Women know what it needs and what they need to do and what it takes. They don't need a man to tell them what they need to be doing, they know. If you want to get back to this, look that as royalty and, and in your queendom, you know what you need to do. The mother of the earth, queen of the universe, you know what you need to do? See, real alpha men treat women like queens. They do, but you have to realize that I'm the goddamn king. <laughs> That's it. That is it. You cannot be the queen and I cannot be the king. That's not going to work. That's the problem. You want it all, but screw us. No way. Uh, it don't work that way. The problem in your relationship is simple. And this is all y'all relationships. You don't stand and face any of the issues and the problems. You will go and share the problems with a total stranger than share it with the person that you have the problem with. In the relationship. You don't need Kevin Samuels to tell you that. Stop being so damn trendy and stupid. These television shows, people like this, and everybody else is able to influence you to be stupid. Walking up damn crates, dumping cold water on your head, and all this trendy dumbness. 
I know my mother and sister do it. They, they all call it anything trendy. They all in. Wake up. You don't need anybody else to tell you how to fix what's going on in your life. You already know what's wrong. Now, people can give you some advice if you're seeking advice for some direction or some ideas or some tips or whatever, something informative. But if somebody is just going to keep putting you down, that's not helping you. It's helping them get ratings. Did Mr. Samuels actually talk to some of these women like how did they actually come to this decision? Maybe because it's what they grew up around. Maybe it was that conditioning. Maybe their mother grew up and didn't have proper education. So they grew up in a house that weren't, didn't have a nurturing environment. They didn't teach. They didn't have a big mom. You know, the mama, the mama is 13, grandma 25. You know, and they still going out to the clubs and house parties. You know, you don't want this. You don't know what they grew up under. Before you start labeling people based on their appearance, based on how the attitudes are, there's a reason and there's a cause and effect for this. Some of them didn't choose to be like this. Some of them thought maybe their life was hopeless. Maybe some made mistakes. What are you doing to try to correct those, Mr. Samuels? Nothing. What plan have you put in place to try to help correct them? What steps besides you belittling them? Nothing. Why? Because you really don't care. You're there to make good internet content of conflict so that they can keep coming back, feeding the machine, the hamster on the wheel. And for the men, like there's men that like them because... He ends up saying things to women that they want to say because they relate to the pain. So they go, yeah, get them. That's what I'm talking about. And it makes some men bitter at women. And they take a situation somewhere that it really wasn't going. I did that before. So I know my defense mechanism was up because I'm like, look, I didn't got hurt and put in pain because of dealing with this other chick. And I'm taking that into another relationship or another situation that didn't have nothing to do with her and everything else. So they got to deal with that. <laughs> and, you know, and they took a lot of shrapnels and I apologize to all the women. I put a lot of them through hell. They had to go through the trials of fire to get to me. I apologize to them for that because I my defense systems was up. I'm like, look, I've been nice. <laughs> Now the next one can't get nice. Now it's like, what you want, what you doing here? <laughs> so we relate to the pain. So in order to defeat that, you got to let go of the pain. You got to say, that's that person's situation. That person is insane. I'm not going to be insane too. Because if I stay dealing with her, I'm going to be insane. One of us going to be in jail, the other one in the morgue. I got to leave that alone. No matter how much they want to hold on and keep. Some people, you know, you know how you met a person that they're just all attracted to drama? Their whole life, things could be going good. And they get mad, you happy. You'll be smiling, and you almost afraid to smile and laugh because you go, uh oh, she see me happy, she gonna be upset. Some people don't know how to be happy. They just don't. So I don't know what else to say, man. It's just I'm just tired of seeing the same old rendition. You know, I'm not jealous of Kevin Samuels. I'm more disappointed in people. 
that they feel that this is something they need to see and watch. Someone sent me a video and was like, look at him, tell her, and then she admits it. And I'm like, look, there's a lot of women out there that are not following that program. You don't have to be a, it doesn't mean you have to be a slave to a man to cater to your man. Your man's going to cater to you. Y'all cater to each other's needs. That's how it works. Catering don't mean like he's your boss and he, he's master. You got to do everything he say on his every beck and call. That's not what it means. But some women don't understand what a relationship is or a partnership. They think they're supposed to get everything in the relationship. We just supposed to get them stuff and they just, just for their existence. <laughs> Meanwhile, they can't cook, they can't clean, they can't, <laughs> they can't do anything. And it's like, look, you better get a mate if you need all that. That's not the point. If you can't cook, how are you going to teach our children how to cook? How our kids are going to be able to survive? You can't clean in, in the house and you got the house all nasty. What, how are you going to teach our children to clean and take care of themselves? And prepare them to go out in the world to survive. These are the, these are the things that you're going to have to learn in order to move forward. Okay? So, these are the things that women knew by the age they were 12, 10 years old. They was helping prepare the tables, cooking with moms and all that. Those days are like over now. They are hanging out outside, going to the clubs. And guys nowadays are coming with shopping bags like, baby, I'll buy you a jacket if you give me your phone number. It's like, you know, it's no type of communication first or getting to know them. They don't even know how to talk to women, most men, because they only dealt with them through social media. People have been dating through social media for years. Like, yeah, we've been going together two years on Facebook. I'm going to actually go see her. For the first time, like this year, I'm mean, like, this actually happens? <laughs> but you'll be surprised. People meet face to face and they don't know what to say to one another. It's very unusual. Well, I didn't grow up in the digital tech era. I, I, I was fortunate to grow up outside of it. So I was used to communication and actually having to talk to someone, actually having to write a girl a letter. And you believe that? You actually had to write girls poetry back in school to get them to be impressed. They was, hey, he wrote me a poem. So when I see Tupac, when he wrote the poem and all that, I'm like, yeah, that's what we used to have to do. Back in the day, women were impressed with those gestures. Now you could just send them an emoji. <laughs> and that makes their day. Different times, you know. So, thank you guys for sending me the clips. I do appreciate that. Um, the super chats, everything. But thank you for sending me the clips on Kevin Samuels. I did see it. i um, appreciative that uh, you took the time to do that. I just want people to wake up. You're always free to watch what you want to watch. But I'm just saying, I got y'all wanted my take on it. This is my take. Like, so this is like my second response. <laughs> my second reply. Because I know I replied like a year ago. And like back when like the phenomenon was hitting. So some will say I'm being bitter and hating and then others will find reason to try to flag and take down this video. So you already know what it is. Um, I want to say shouts out to everybody at Self Talk. Thank you for the mention in the video. I saw the video you did yesterday. I was amazing. Your editing skills is incredible. Um, Shouts out to Ed. Welcome to HD TV. It's actually welcome to HD TV 2 with the two eyes. Seattle, Jose Rodriguez, uh, at Kwame Brown Bus Life. Y'all already know that. Follow, subscribe, all these pages, even us. 
Thank you guys for liking the video that we did. Um, all your donations and super chats, you got to see where it's actually going to actual programs that mean something. You know, the Isle of Branch mission. That was my first time ever doing something with philanthropy on my own. And that was 1997. First time. All I had was $20 to give. That $20 paid for four lunches. That was like a juice, a piece of bread, whatever the meat was. I was able to feed four people with $20. And that's how I got started. Then it came out to me volunteering on helping putting food out there for the Thanksgiving and doing things like that. So I was doing that secretly for years. My family don't even know I did all that because I didn't do it for publicity. I didn't do it for fame. I didn't do it for popularity. Nothing. I did it because I like to give. It's enriching to do something like that. So when you guys donate to the page, like I say, I always found a way to do something positive with it. So, like, you guys took care of my grandma. Like, all the food she was getting, supplies from the store when she was sick, and I had to go over there and take care of her, all that was coming from the cash app that you guys was putting in there. It was getting her food, getting her everything, all out of the cash app. So you guys was all a part of helping. So thank you for that. I, I know I thanked y'all before, but definitely thank y'all. You know, everybody could do what they want with their money, but those other guys, what are they doing? You know, the people who y'all be kicking it up to, the other guys, we actually doing stuff here. <laughs> like we actually doing work but those other guys who supposedly making 130,000 a month bragging about it right bragging on who murdered somebody in Chicago you know and keep going back and forth with somebody getting beat up in Chicago getting murdered in Chicago but y'all keep donating to that not y'all just saying they <laughs> people that watch him and all his nonsense and the other people. There's not just him, there's others. All that stuff's gotta start to come to an end. Like, just the foolery of it. It's like, dude, you gotta have to start like actually doing something. You know, just going around trying to capitalize on people, real people's pain and real people getting murdered and beat up. That's, that's stupid, man. I mean, it's childish. It's you would think after five, six years of doing this, that that person would grow up, but they haven't. They still on that same road. It's pitiful. They should feel pitiful. So, yeah, yeah. we'll see. You know, time will tell. We'll start seeing. And if people start doing something to try to prove us wrong, like, yeah, look at me. I'll see I'm doing something good. Keep continuously do it. Keep doing it. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta shame y'all into doing something. Good. As long as you're doing the work. Shut us up. Come on, press one guy. Press two now. <laughs> Come on, butt boy. Let's see if you get out there and do something. Or what is Mr. Samuels doing? Has he done something yet? I don't know. But it's time to start calling these dudes out. Chipmunk. Let's get this chipmunk, a uh, secret squirrel, get him out here. You know, it is what it is. But I'm a bounce, man. My cash app is Carcino. If you want to donate to the cash app. Uh, thanks to everybody who did. Uh, the super chat is still there and blasting. 
Thank all of y'all for that. Hopefully you guys were entertained and informed. Felt like I did my job. So, I'm out.